Lord Wright. You know, the reality is the free picket line. I love it. I love the sound of it as well. Look, you're here for a reason. And that reason is, I think, bottom line, social justice. Yeah? I've been told what you're paid. I don't know how you do it. I genuinely do not know how you do it. I've been dispute is uh, for both of us as customer service managers this is about us having the right to bargain at the moment we have uh, no bargaining rights as senior cabin crew members to fight for uh, better terms and conditions and better pay and for our cabin crew as well our main cabin crew who are on 12,000 just over 12,000 pounds having to live within the M25 this is about trying to ensure that they have a living wage to provide the kind of service that British Airways customers expect us to deliver as long haul and short. There's no economic argument for the company to provoke this dispute. They have the profits and they're more interested in either paying their chief exec the millions that he now has or their shareholders rather than the workers themselves. And what I said some years ago and I'll repeat it now. If you undermine the wages of the workers themselves, eventually it will erode the service and eventually that will feed into passengers and eventually you're undermining the very product you're trying to sell. So this dispute isn't just about wages, it's about the long-term future of the company as well. I have one last resort and that is to withdraw your labour and take strike action. No one does it lightly. But I tell you, for those ones, I, I just want to say this to all of you, so those ones who are taking industrial action today, you are the heroes and heroines of our movement. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's hear it for our next fleet. Yeah. Look, uh, sisters and brothers, I just wanted to come here uh, to show my personal support and to bring the support of your United Executive to you in the struggle that you're engaged in. Oh, yeah. uh, I also wanted to congratulate you uh, for standing up for your rights. You know, the reality is in today's climate, bosses often think that they've got the upper hand and that they can constantly take from ordinary working people. It's an absolute disgrace what British Airways are trying to force on you. Uh, we knew right from the outset of uh, British Airways' attitude to mixed fleet, which is why we set about trying to organise you. They told us years ago, we're not interested in cabin crew coming here and having long careers uh, and having decent pay. We basically want to employ young people. We want to burn them out, pay them as cheap as we possibly can. Let them live in bed sits in Hounslow. That's our, that's our bus workers. They're also Unite members as well. And we said to them, that if they try to abuse working people, we'll bring people together to fight against that injustice. Yeah.